But just because schools are closed doesn't mean the funding is not necessary. It is. Evansville Day School is offering a virtual way to shop and support the school. Leah Whitaker is here with auction details. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Angie? I am very good. I hope you are. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm doing well. So tell us about, uh, normally this time of year you would be doing a fundraiser. So what was that like before we got into the days of COVID-19? Um, well, anybody who plans uh, annual events knows that it's incredibly stressful, but incredibly <laughs> rewarding. So we were geared up to do um, an incredible event that was um, focused on like a game show theme. And just about three weeks before we went, we were to go live, you know, the whole world went into lockdown. So um, we quickly, we pretty quickly decided that um, we were going to retool and still offer our community a way to get together and engage with the school. So this so is what we're doing. How, how will this work? Because it's going to be a virtual <laughs> auction. So walk the shoppers through how they can participate. Um, there are links through our Facebook page and on our website under the support EDS tab. It's the name of the auction is EDS strong. So you can go on Facebook and search that right now. The auction is live. The catalog is live. We have a few hundred items or a couple hundred items on there. Anything uh, ranging from kids games to adult beverages. There's something for anybody and a lot of it is geared towards Saving off the boredom. <laughs> That's perfect, perfect timing for that. And then, so what happens on Saturday? So Saturday, um, you know, part of the reason why we hold annual events is because our community just loves coming together and supporting the school. Um, we love that excitement and that celebration about our EDS family. So we didn't want to miss out on this sort of social event. So we're hosting a live stream broadcast through YouTube. You are what our co-hosting, Angie, <laughs> um, along with our friend Scott Wiley. And uh, we are going to be highlighting some of our items. We're going to be making pitches for our teacher requests, our funding items. And then one really cool addition we have this year that I, I do want to mention, our upper school students are asking people to donate to local health care workers and medical professionals. So. Even today, you can donate to our Healthcare Heroes Relief Drive, and our upper school students will make sure those donations to get uh, get to local hospitals. And they're writing notes of encouragement and cards, and everything to be supportive and give back to the community as well. There's so much to love about that. That is a wonderful effort for the kids to uh, take a part in. How great! Uh, now for Saturday night, do they need to tune in a special time? Is this Facebook Live? How are we doing this? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So we'll be on YouTube. We'll be broadcasting on our YouTube channel, but we'll be posting through Facebook. It starts at six o'clock. Um, we're going to try and keep that going as long as we can, as long as people are still willing to bid. Our auction does close at nine o'clock on Saturday night. Um, we're not going to live stream the whole time, but bid, you can continue to bid uh, until April 25th at 9 p.m. And check out our, our live stream broadcast at six o'clock on Saturday. Leah, thank you so much. It's going to be fun. Yeah, this is going to be great. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Let's check in with Ron Rhodes.